Hello, I'm Doug Cabana, Director of the Morris County Board of Chosen Freeholders. And I'm Dr. Tony Icano, President of County College of Morris. Cybersecurity is a matter of grave importance for individuals, businesses, and government alike. Online attacks are the hidden crimes that can create massive damage. They're not visible and can be quite difficult to resolve. The good news, however, is that there are steps we can all take to protect ourselves, businesses, the communities we serve. Morris County is a leader in that effort. As part of that effort, we'd like to present you with this video featuring students from the Club for Cybersecurity at County College of Morris, so you too can learn how to protect against cyber attack. When you're online, do you wonder, how safe am I? How safe are we when we go on the internet? The first thing we usually do when logging on is enter our username and password. Just how important are passwords in cybersecurity? One of the biggest ways to protect yourself online is to use a strong password. Minimum length should be six characters of upper and lower case with special characters. Never write down passwords and store them in publicly accessible places. Use password managers to store your password. I use my dog's name. I used my date of birth. I can never remember my password. Never use the name of your favorite movie, your pet's name, or your birth date. Those are the first things a hacker will try. Remember, a strong password is your first line of defense in cybersecurity. The longer and more complex you make your passwords, the stronger your password will be. Use a mixture of special characters, capital letters, and numbers to create stronger passwords. Don't write your passwords down on paper. Use password managers to protect your passwords. Using your birthday, pet's names, and hometown as part of your password leaves you vulnerable to breaches. To test your password strength, visit the free and secure site you see on the screen. Almost all devices that utilize the internet are connected to Wi-Fi. It's great for getting work done, managing your social media, and generally staying connected. But public networks can also be a major security risk. Wi-Fi users generally don't read the login message that requires users to register their email address and login to accept site terms and conditions. Most of the terms and conditions explain that the provider will not be responsible if your information is stolen while using their Wi-Fi connection. It's easy for hackers to steal your information over free Wi-Fi. Remember, public Wi-Fi is not as secure as you may think. It's easy to see what you are surfing on the web, including the passwords. Public Wi-Fi hotspot owners are never responsible for any identity theft or other information breach. Use extreme caution when connecting to free Wi-Fi and never transmit any personal information such as banking information, email logins, or other sensitive information. Many think that they'll never be the victim of identity theft. Unfortunately, you may not know you are the victim of identity theft until someone cleans out your bank account or charges thousands of dollars on your credit card. There are many ways to protect yourself from identity theft online. First, never respond to unsolicited requests. Never give anyone your birthday, social security number, or bank account. Remember, banking institutions never email customers to request sensitive information. Second, be sure to install firewalls and virus detection software on all of your devices, including computers, smartphones, gaming systems, and other web-enabled devices. Third, identity theft often happens right over your shoulder. Always enter your passwords on keypads and computers while shielding the device you are on. There are many ways identity theft can take place. This may be the result of an out-of-date operating system, security software, or web browser. Remember, don't respond to unsolicited requests for personal information by phone, email, or online. Install firewalls and virus detection software on your home computer. Watch out for shoulder surfers. Be sure to shield the keypad when typing your passwords on computers and at ATMs. If you discover that your identity has been hacked, file a report with your local law enforcement agency immediately. In case your identity is stolen, be sure to take immediate action by changing all passwords online, closing any unauthorized or compromised credit cards, and filing a report with your local law enforcement agency. Remember, when you log into the internet or any network, stop, stop think, think, connect. connect.